Hello, my name is Tony. And my name is Tia. And, and we are the, the Tioni, Tioni team. team. <laughs> the challenge we chose today was to choose a dish and map the life cycle of it. So we did a, so we did a before and after. The before was the non-environmentally sustainable. So we looked through the process and the problem. And then we did design thinking to create an environmentally sustainable dish. And the dish we chose was flank steak with corn and radish salad. So the process which goes into the dish, if you look over here or over there, the crops that we chose were polluted and filled with pesticides, which was radish and corn. And you see this cow down here, it's a small image, but it's, it's a steroid cow. And um, these crops are harvested and this cow is butchered and then transported to your local grocery store or supermarket and then you take home the groceries and prepare the dish. A problem we saw in this process is specifically growing crops, we saw that it was pollution, we saw it was soil erosion and land conversion. And another problem that we saw was managing livestock. There was the animal condition, the animal diet, and the animal health is atrocious. And also the transportation to get it where it needs to be, atrocious. So if we look at the top images, we see the first image is a cluster of cows, the second land conversion, and third brutality of a cow. If you look at the last row, that spray is pesticides. This is a GMO steak and also it's a polluted harvest. So now, environmentally sustainable, we're gonna look at the dish. So, imagine a world that runs on Wallabin. Wallabin is actually our app that we'll talk about later. So, the mission of Wallabin is to change the way corporations and consumers perceive food. So we use design thinking like we said previously. The three, first three stages are empathize, define, ideate, prototype, and finally to actually test it. So with empathize, Tony and I researched different things and we realized that people want to eat food that tastes good, of course, but people also don't know the process of how the food gets there. And we also learned like some alerting facts, like one third of the, um, of America's food goes to waste, and that's equivalent to 60 million tons, which is equivalent to $160 billion. So that's like $160 billion down the drain. So to define, we saw that the problems, the most uh, three ar overarching problems were growing the crops, um, maintaining the livestock, and actually transporting these crops and um, butchery from the meats to the grocery markets. Okay, and the third step that we did was ideate. So after we saw the problems, it's one thing to think of all the problems in the world and it's another thing to actually solve them. So we created like a list of different ideas on how to solve the problem of growing crops. And one of the things that we thought of was like hubs. And in these hubs, um, farmers will be able to like regulate the temperature, soil um, rotation, and like all these different things so it could be easier for them to manage. Looking at um, maintaining the livestock, we would create an animator, we, we call it, to regulate the animal activity, health, diet, and tracking. Transportation would be um, an animal individual space, temperature regulation for the crops, and monitoring for the animals. So now we're going to show a little bit of the prototype. So this is Wallabin. You have your login, you have your sign-in, then you have consumer, producer, open data. The, pr the consumer would be choose a vegetable, choose a meal, create a dish. Producer would be managed by hub, animator, transportation. And then open data would just be annual consumer waste, pesticide use, and fine local groceries. So we would know if it's effective by like having a test run, giving it to different companies so they could test it out, and that's how we would know if it would work. So we'll get feedback and continue to make it better and better, and hopefully it will be changed. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. That's a beautiful uh, presentation and, and beautiful interface. Thank you also for walking us through the steps of how you got to your product. That was really informative. Um, I was curious, how would you think about integrating ways to incentivize people to choose kind of the more environmentally, uh, um, you know, like not as detrimental ways, for example, for, for a consumer and for a producer? Uh, yeah. Yeah. So within the app, being that um, we have participating grocery stores, I'm working with Wallaby, oh, Wallaby, sorry, um, 
you actually get um, coupons for the grocery store that you're shopping at. And also, it's really come down to your health and maintaining the environment that is around you. I, I might just think about splitting out the app into two separate apps. So one that has um, a consumer focus and the other that has the producer focus. Um, for me, when I, when I look at an app, I see the producer side in, in my messed up mind, I think, oh, how come I can't see that part of the app? Um, because it's not meant for me. So I, I think that there's a, a cool kind of next step there that's probably beyond the scope of the, uh, the, beyond the, scope of the hackathon. Um, but yeah, thank you for walking us through the process. That, that's really informative for me and I, I feel like I have a better understanding of, of how you guys got to your conclusions. And were, were you envisioning, you said something about a, like a physical product as well, like a, like a, a space in which these foods are grown? Would, um, is that what yeah, you're talking so about? The hub, it's like, yeah. you know how they have like greenhouses? Yeah. It would be something similar to that, but it would be like, you get to regulate it. So a farmer would be able to see exactly how their crops is doing, and it will tell them when it needs to like rotate their soil so the soil stays healthy and all that type of stuff. Cool. So really our... Um, idea behind this hub was to knock out all the people actually doing physical work, which um, being that we are in the 21st century and we are become prevalent in use of technology, that we want to create this hub that basically essential, essentially control all the different spraying of the pesticide at a specific time, making sure that the crops are growing at a daily pace, making sure that um, the natural pesticides that are being sprayed are monitored. Yeah, you guys should look into a company called On Farm. Um, they they do uh, farming analytics, right? It's, it's mostly for big farms, um, but there aren't a lot of solutions that are similar for s smaller farms. But essentially, their business is built on introducing sensors into different you know farming uh, environments uh, so that farmers have better understanding of how the crops are doing in a given season. Um, it sounds very similar to you guys. Maybe you can piggyback on that technology and and bring it to smaller farms and people who are you know growing crops in the city and that sort of thing. Be cool. Thanks guys. Oh yeah. Oh just an idea while we were we were thinking is like that dish well I'm hungry but that's a different thing. Um but the dish that you you <laughs> the dish that you put forward um, since you have the grocery list and you have the process and put it already, you could even do something like if I want to make something, it would say buy your ingredients here or buy this here and then you could kind of direct people into buy a more uh, you know uh, by the best possible look like steer them in the right direction or something like that and that would encourage the middle people like the grocery stores who buy from the producers and then send to the people mm -hmm. it would encourage them to buy from more sustainable uh, locations and, and products as well yeah, yeah great, this, is, great idea. this is a great opportunity for education um, you know, I mean, there's plenty of people out there, I mean, especially people who are uh, in like food deserts, like they don't even know what the difference is between organic and, and non-organic. So, um, you know, explaining the options to people. And I know, again, I'm going to suggest Environmental Working Group uh, because they have things like the lists of the dirtiest or most pesticide uh, uh, vegetables and that kind of thing. So you can refer to those sorts of things and use that for data. Thank you.